Hey y'all, what's up? Just hilarious voice. Let's talk honesty. Dishonesty being the red flag. Mm. You want to make sure in your dating process that you are screening for a person that is honest, not dishonest. Making sure that they don't lie about small things even. Of course, you don't want to see them lying about big things, but look for the fact that they lie about small things as an indicator that they can be a liar. I just try to keep it honest in everything, you know, as far as communication. I mean, integrity is a big thing. Um, it's on a whole other level, but it still involves being honest. Um, it just means doing the right thing, even when no one is looking, of course. So, of course, no, of course, no one's perfect, but like just to lie about small stuff when there's no reason to, you can just be honest. And it's like showing that there's a fear to be honest. That's one thing when, I mean, it's better to possibly hurt someone's feelings being honest than being dishon dishonest. And just looking for a way to um, communicate to where you, sorry, my phone is coming through and I couldn't tell if it stopped my recording. But anyway, rude. <laughs> um, you can find ways to be honest about things without hurting a person's feelings. You just got to think about what you're going to say. But, and I just mean the smallest thing, like somebody telling their kid, um, I don't know, it's just a small thing. If the kid asks a question about something and instead of just telling the truth or finding a better way to answer it, they'll say something and lie. Or if you, someone says, um, are you coming over today? Like, let's say you're with them and you're on the, they're on the phone. Someone calls and they're like, can you stop by or whatever? And they're like, yeah, when they have no intention of stopping by, when they could just tell that person, oh, I'm not going to be able to make it today. Like, to me, that's a small lie, but it's a lie that didn't have to be told. So it's just like, if you lie about something like that, you'll lie about big things. Um, and that's huge for me um, because there's just no reason to. You can just try to be honest for the most part. Not even for the most part, just be honest. How about that? I have an experience of a huge lie where the person told me that they had two kids and had only been married one time. Like, why would you lie about that? Come to find out the person had been married three times and had about six kids, I think. <laughs> like, why would you lie about something like that? It's no reason to lie. <laughs> Even if you didn't have the intention of uh, becoming serious with the person, it's still no reason to lie about it. Because if you are intending to be serious with the person and go into a relationship, you at some point got to come clean and tell this person that you've been married more than once and that you have more than two kids. That's huge um, and just unnecessary. So just pay attention to if a person is being honest with other people, with people in their lives, their children, their parents, like their siblings. It's just no reason to lie. Y'all find a better way because you really don't have to. You can tell the truth and if it hurts a person's feelings, it hurts their feelings. But it's better than lying to them because if they find out the truth, that's going to hurt their feelings too. So just keep it real. Keep it 100 and look for that as a red flag. And if you are that red flag, you out here lying and being dishonest, stop it and start telling the truth. Start being honest. <laughs> so that's my tip for today. So remember, keep it 100 like share comment please um and subscribe if you like if you choose not to thank you for watching and have a very blessed day